So recently I seen the controversy with Sonic Origins and in today's video I'll be talking about both the good and bad in Sonic Origins. First of all I want to point out that I personally think that Sonic Origins is a great game. So I'm going to be as little biased as possible. So now that I've said everything, let's go and talk about Sonic Origins. First of all I want to talk about the the two DLCs available for purchase. Those the two DLCs are three ninety nine, one is a music pack and the other is a premium fun pack. The premium fun pack contains hard missions, ten letterbox backgrounds and a sixteen by nine classic mode and camera control in the menu. Now the reason I'm a bit unhappy with the premium fun pack is hard missions. If you do not know, missions are a bonus in Sonic Origins which were not in the original games. Now to pay for a hard difficulty in a game it feels kind of upsetting. Now I will give a, another example. If you bought the Spider-Man game and you and you thought I don't want to play easy mode, I want to play impossible mode or um, hard mode, you wouldn't want to pay another four pound because you spent a lot of money on the game, which I will I will get to the price point of the game in a minute. Now you can understand what I mean, like buying a, a difficulty for something that you've already paid a lot of money for. Now I will get to the other stuff. Physical editions is another thing I want to mention. Sonic Origins has no physical edition and there is no news of a physical edition being made, which kind of upsets me. Now, it upsets me and collectors. Co the reason it upsets me and collectors is because um, collectors usually like games for their collection to put on a shelf to make it look nicer. And uh, buying a digital edition means the games usually have higher prices and barely have any discount. If you want to buy the game cheaper, um, physical version would be better because retailers usually drop the price of the game because uh, more people are getting it and the value is dropping. So yeah, that's one thing I'm upset about that there's no phys dig physical edition. But another thing I want to address is the price point of the game. Now for the standard edition of the game you have to pay 39 uh, 39 pounds and 99 pence, which is basically around about 40 pounds, and you have to also pay 44 pounds for um, the digital deluxe edition. And the reason um, the digital uh, deluxe edition is a save because two DLCs they contain both DLCs for uh, three pounds cheaper, which is a bargain. But um, other than that, it's not a massive uh, massive bargain. And uh, the price point difference between the main, the standard edition and the digital deluxe is around about four or five pounds. But other than that, let's start talking about the gameplay. So now let's talk about the gameplay. There are four games to play in Sonic Origins. Those are obviously Sonic 1, Sonic CD, Sonic 2 and Sonic 3 Knuckles. Now straight away I am happy that Sonic 3 and Knuckles is here. As you may know, Sonic 3 and Knuckles wasn't in other collections due to an issue with Michael Jackson. And yeah, um, anyways, every Sonic game here is uh, kind of like the originals which you get on the Sega Genesis and the Sega Saturn. Now, the bosses are the same and everything is basically the same with just a few graphical improvements. Anyway, every Sonic game now has a drop dash which actually makes me, makes me really happy because so um, we obviously never had the drop dash in the original Sonic games, and it's a pretty nice feature in Sonic Origins because Sonic Origins was obviously made in Sonic Mania, and the drop dash is obviously from Sonic Mania. The games, the games are the same as original, as I said, with graphical improvements, and the graphical improvements make the game look much nicer. Like in water, it's slightly brighter, and it looks much better for PS5, Xbox, and stuff. It looks very nice. Now, one thing I want to address is Classic Mode. Classic Mode looks like the original mode, it's in the name, and it's at 16 by 9 resolution. Now, the reason I'm upset is with this, is this is the only version that has lives. Now, the reason I'm upset is that the mode do that doesn't have lives is because lives make the game more challenging. Just like you have to pay for a hard mode in the um, Premium Fun Pack, you you really only have lives in a 16 by 9 resolution and it's not in the anniversary mode which really upsets me I wish Sega would add in a new update to Sonic Origins a new like live system uh, where you can in anniversary mode just pick a setting to add lives or just use the infinite lives 
And if you have live, it gives a general feeling of the original game with a bigger screen. Anyways, let's talk about the bonuses. Sonic Origin has a lot of bonuses, one of them being Mirror Mode, which is unlockable with every version. Now, Mirror Mode is a bit different to the original, just like the name. It's, it's basically an inverted version of the main game. So, Green Hill Zone would not, the end wouldn't be at the right, it'd be at the left. It basically just an entire inverted version, all the bosses are inverted, all the side scrollers are inverted, everything is inverted. It is pretty cool, it's unlockable using coins. Now, coins I'm not really happy about. As you know, coins are collectible in the game, and basically coins are what let you unlock mirror mode and the museum. And mirror mode is obviously pretty cool, and the museum is another thing that allows you to look at illustrations, cutscenes, it's very cool. Now, another thing I want to address is Sonic Origins obviously has cutscenes, but I'm kind of disappointed with the cutscenes as well. I thought Sonic Origins would have a cutscene like every single like uh, world, like after Green Hill Zone you get a cutscene, after the next, after like Marble Hill Zone you get a cutscene, but instead you only get one at the start of the game and the end of the game, which is a bit disappointing, but other than that, the cutscenes look brilliant and they look beautifully hand drawn, I'm pretty sure they're hand drawn, but the cutscenes look very nice and they look very amazing and I just can't get over how cool they look. Other than that, there's not much in in Sonic Origins, so this is why I'm going to give my final thoughts. So personally I think the Sonic Origins controversy is dumb. I understand the price point flaws and the Michael Jackson Ice Cap Zone and Carvel Knight issue, so I can understand that, but I feel it's dumb because it's a lot it's a lawsuit. Sega can't own the rights to the song. It's sad. But we'll have to get over it. And the news music sounds alright. I don't really mind it. I really don't listen to music anyway. I, I think you shouldn't too. But I'd rather you listen to waterfall waterfall instead of the Sonic music. Um but it's pretty cool. Jokes aside, I think Sonic Origins is a brilliant game. That is why I'm going to rate it at eight point nine out of ten. The reason I am giving eight point nine out of ten is because I personally think that the price point is a bit high, and yeah, I, Sonic. If Sonic Mania could be um, like thirty pound, I think Sonic Origins could be thirty pound as well. So yeah, that is sad. But other than that, I give Sonic Origins an eight point nine out of ten. I hope you got guys enjoyed this type of video. Leave a like, subscribe if you guys want another video like this, and I hope, make sure to put it down in the comments. Subscribe, leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!